Well, good morning, tubers. Welcome to you, Dizzy's place. Let's see if I can get you a sticker. You, Dizzy's place. So friggin' right. Um, today's a mail day. Got some mail. Not showing you where exactly it's from. Maybe I can do this. It's from SCH Design. Hmm. Probably can't see that. But let me uh, open her up and uh, I'll show you what they are. Well, all right. This is what we got here. I got a lifetime warranty uh, on the U Dizzy stickers, I guess. So that's freaking hardcore. And he sent me a package of stickers, I guess. Just can't get them all out. Whoa, whoa, look at this one. Look at these special ones. A little chrome and green. Gotta love that kind. So I got a couple of those. And then a stack of these ones. Of the uh, green and green and yellow. You dizzy dackles. So we love that kind. I guess uh, he said he tried to send them before Christmas, but with all the orders and all the other stuff going on, it just wasn't possible. Got one more in here. Get out of there. Okay. So I got some new Dizzy Dackles, which is awesome. It's always good to have those and some cool new ones. So thanks again, ACH Design. And uh, for any of your sticker needs or any of the swag from you, Dizzy, or One Tough Dog, or T-Man's Cots, or Born Pug Life, or uh, Off-Road Mowers, or, he's got it all. Just go check him out, SCH Design, and tell him the Diz Man sent you. You know what I'm saying? Thanks again, brother. Well appreciated. All right, it's starting to snow. Cutie's in the hood again. I don't know how much we're getting, but uh, today's Thursday, and it looks like it's really snowing over over the other side. So it's probably coming that way over to this way. So friggin' sack. Let's see what we can get into today. Well, it's still coming down. Seems to be getting closer. And now that I'm dressed and had my coffee, I might as well head down to the shop. It's starting to accumulate on the ground. Oh my goodness. We actually got snow. Who would have thought? Oh, hey, YouTubers. Welcome to the U Dizzy Shop. And thanks once again to Buck's Woodshop for making me this wicked cool sign. So that was freaking cool. I always have it here in my shop, buddy. So I'm in here today. Um, after my mail call, I neatened up some stuff. I put all the painted stuff in one area. I don't know if you can see it all. It's kind of dark over in that corner. I never got that distributor out of there piece of junk I mean uh, so I may have to just use it the way it is and if it don't work I'll have to smash it you know I'm not going to take it out smashfully unless I know it don't work so so I cleaned up some of my shop here right here give me a little area and today I think I'm going to uh, bring this front end in there and look at it I mean, I cleaned this up. I had some guests over. I showed them all the pots. I got these two pots. This is the drive shaft uh, casing. I don't know what they call it. The tube. The casing, whatever. So inside there needs a little cleaned up a little bit. With some stuff. But all outside is all clean. The whole thing. And the same with this. All cleaned up. Nice. If you look, uh, they all work. I, mean, I can't do it, but 
There you go. I don't know if you've seen that move, but see, they all work. I got to get a new steering wheel because it's broken a couple places and it don't have the uh, that rubber or hardened rubber or whatever it is they put on that poly something. But uh, the frame's pretty nice and clean. It still needs some work, you know, a little bit here and there. But you see, I've been going at it little by little. No sense filming every minute of me cleaning it up. But I've been looking at this frame, and someone told me that these weren't original. These, but I'm sorry to tell you, they are. They're original, and they look freaking mint. <laughs> and they also told me that they never bolted these in. Well, let me tell you, buddy. Look at those bolts. I'm sorry, but this is all original. You can see by the pitting, pitting in here a little bit. That it's been in there since original, you know. Sorry about the dust and stuff in there. But there's a little bit of pitting on the inside here, like you see how that is. But other than that, it's meant. And the reason why these were bolted in this front piece, I believe, was because this here is the front support of the motor, you know, with, right in there. The the thing sits in there, and it has a carriage and stuff but uh that's why these were bolted in and not pinned like the back i believe if i'm wrong you know someone correct me but uh i believe i'm 100 percent right and uh these are original i should have turned the flash on the camera but those are original and they're really nice those are the back motor mounts and this is actually the front motor mount. I'll show you what goes in there. If for uh, people who don't know, it's uh, I, I gotta get some pieces to it because mine is kind of fucked up. But this is the piece that goes in there. You see how these things uh, they had like some rubber things on the bottom or something that rotted away. So I'm gonna have to uh. It's like all the thin pieces rotted on the truck, but uh, or the car, um, but uh, the thick pieces are still mint, you know. So I saved it just in the nick of time, I guess. I'm gonna have to get the uh, the pieces for this. I think it's a spring and blah blah blah. And then these are this is another whole thing I'm gonna have to look at in the Tams book and get them from Tams because he's uh, the Model A aficionado around here. So that's awesome. So let me get the pulling this in here. Okay. Well, now I got the flash on. If you look at these, you can see they are original, but they are in beautiful shape. You know? And look at the frame of this truck again. There's some rust right there, you know. I'm going to take those off and clean all that up. But, uh, for the most part, it's pretty, pretty nice. Now that you can see the, uh, the wear in this right here. Not too bad, not too bad. The front has two holes, too. I don't know what for. Two, two, two. And these are for the, uh, radiator kit oh did you see that oh, what the fuck oh, whatever these are for the radiator to sit on so off we go now i'm gonna get this inside all right big boys we got her in here probably gonna adjust her around so it can lay right across this table move my big 390 move over my big 390 and then we'll open these bags and see what we got here and clean everything up and blase blah and blows and skirt well welcome back my friends to the show that never ends oh beg my pardon see you dizzy well, I took the bags off, and this is what we got here. Got the Baron in there uh, on the spindle. Um, the spindle's really nice. 
Everything looks good. This is uh, just some grease. You know. Um, the bolts in there look nice. But it's missing all the other hardware. So to me, I mean, I've inspected both sides now. It's got both of those. Uh, the, you know, that one and the, and the top one. I must need some pots in there. I'm going to have to investigate all of that. All of that situation. But this is what we got here. This is the front end. It's solid as a rock. Usually these things right here rot right out. I mean, you can see it right here. That thing is solid as can be. Solid as a rock. The whole freaking thing, just to let you know. And I was looking at that frame. You see this steering arm? I'm not sure how it would work on this. Probably. All right, you'd have to take this. The, this is how easy this would be. You'd have to take this nut right here off and swing this out. Take this hoop thing off and then bring it right over here. Take this nut out, put it in there, that hoop thing, and you could switch the steering on the other side. This car right here can be a both side steering with whatever I got here. Because see this here, this mounts on that side, right? Mounts right there, but if you look at this side, it has the same setup. So this frame is one of those universals. They made it so it can be a lefty righty. A lefty righty. Seems like I'm not alone today, too. Well, hi, friends of the other world. <laughs> um, so that's that. That could be a lefty or a righty. I mean, I'm not sure what I'd have to do to this. I'd probably have to... I couldn't switch this around. I don't, I don't know how I would... I'd have to get a new steering box. Because this actually has to go on the outside. And this piece on this side would have to be on the other side. But, other than that, I could make that a opposite side steering. I was just messing around looking at it, you know? And that's the only difference. This piece here has a straight piece out of there that goes down to this arm, goes across to there. Well, to steer it, it's this arm right here, goes to this hoop, and you just take this hoop off and put it on the other side and you should be all set. <laughs> but, not that I'm gonna do that, because this isn't that kind of car. This is going to be this kind of car. <laughs> but here's the other side. I'm going to need all the hardware for the fronts because this didn't have no front brakes at all, I would say. I mean, I can look inside there and see cobwebs and whatnot <laughs> inside the hole there. So, but it's got nice barons on it. They look like new barons. For sure, they'll have to be repacked. And whatnot. The shaft looks good. So I'm gonna get cleaning this up and whatnot. That'll be uh, later on today. I got a few errands to run. Um, I just wanted to get this shop straightened up a little bit. It's uh, trash day today in the, at the U Dizzy's place. Trash day, U Dizzy's place. I'm not sure what I look like today my hat on my hair must be a wreck but uh yeah back at the model a doing what i can little by little and uh at here here at uh you dizzy's poor man's builds <laughs> freaking right but you know everything's going slow but they're going the trikes here like you know the motors there the model a's right here the the rim, you can see that rim, I got a lot of it off. Got a lot of that off of that rim. There's still some left in the, on the back side, you know. It's so hard to get in there with your hands. But, you know, this is what I've been learning. Um, probably paint stripper would work better with a brush, paint strip it on and 
rinse it all off and whatnot. I may try that. Um, but doing this by hand, it, it's awesome, you know, because then I get to say I did mine by hand and really mean it. You know what I mean? A lot of people got Model A's and uh, like uh, somebody I know that just picked one up. It's red or something. And they bought it like that. And it looks mint, you know. And then there's other guys like you, Dizzy, who buy that thing like that. And turn the thing into something, you know. And that's, what, that's where it's at, I believe. I mean, that's a, a good start, a good solid frame. So a lot of good pieces. I do have, I don't, I don't know who knows, watches me, but I do have the cowl to this, the, you know, and the, the dash and stuff. And uh, so, Road King 805. You know, it may not be as cool as that, as that one that uh, you guys got in the shop over there, but I'll tell you what, it's freaking cool to me. <laughs> And I love that kind. You know? So, once again, oh, I seen that Buck's Wood Shop is making another new sign for, uh, for Mustang Connection. That, uh, that sign came out nice. I really like that one. Yeah, that looks good. You know? Yeah. I mean, he's not like me, one of the OGs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, it's a nice side. <laughs> Sorry about that, Matt. <laughs> Throwing digs. Oh, I was going to show Sass Green. Sass Green, here's those pictures. You see this? Oh, not even, you know, we were seeing orbs and stuff. Look at these pictures I got. This is some old, old pictures I found at a house one time. And I always kept them in my shop. It looks like this is the same class just years later. Got two of them. Some old stuff. Well, look at this right here. Arrow fasteners. That's, that's pretty old. Begged in my pot. Here's some. Do you see these right here? These are uh, bearings, ball bearings, for the, uh, I know ball bearings, what am I talking about? <laughs> These are, uh, I better cut that part out of the video. These are for the doodle bug. And they are, uh, if I ever get the thing out of the box. Barons, yeah, some sealed barons. Those are for the neck. I had to special order them; they didn't have them. And then I got the bike all done. I ordered uh, four. That's the t there's two there, top and bottom. I ordered the top and bottom for the neck on the one I re I built, and uh, then someone stole it. So figure sack, I never needed those again. But they're still in the shop. So Sass Green, I hope you like to watch to see those. You know. Oh look, you can take a ride on you Dizzy's big green tractor, or his little one. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, check out the links below, check out Saskatchewan. <laughs> Base, gay you Dizzy swag, looks good on you.